I'm Shabna Matthias, and I'm sitting in for Ashley Bird today for a healthy you, one of the segments that we do for Yahweh TV regarding health and wellness. Today, our uh, guest uh, is uh, Sunita Sharma. She's actually from India. Tell us a little bit about you, Sh Sunita. Tell us a little more. Yeah, sure. I am uh, Sunita Sharma, and I am basically a nurse. And uh, I have done my master's in psychiatric nursing. And I'm teaching in the College of Nursing. Uh, now it's almost been almost 25 years. Great. And uh, I love my job, and I like teaching a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I was inspired by my mother because my mother was a nurse teacher too. So that is how I always thought of uh, going into teaching. And I am teaching nurses, and I teach uh, BSc nursing students, and I teach uh, master students too. And uh, I'm doing my PhD as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. Awesome. Now, you have any children? Yeah, I have two kids. Uh, my son is 13 years old and my daughter is 17 years old. Ah, teenagers. Uh, yeah. yeah, she's a teenager. Great. Wow. wow. Can you tell me a little bit more about which part of India uh, you are from and which part of India you are currently residing in? Yeah, basically I'm from Jalandhar. It's uh, one city in Punjab. Uh -huh. I was born and brought up there. And uh -huh. then for my studies, I came to Chandigarh. Uh -huh. And uh, Tell me I a little bit about that. It sounds really interesting. You were telling me a little bit about yeah. how it's structured in comparison yeah. to the rest of India. It is uh, known as one of the city beautiful because it's yeah. a very planned city, you know. The whole kind of, uh, you will see that the whole city is a planned one. Mm -hmm. And all the houses are of the same structure, all together in one symbol, uh, oh. particular sector. So it's beautifully designed, which you will not see usually in the other parts of India. Oh. And that is why it is uh, like the city beautiful and mm -hmm. everyone uh, likes to be there. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful place. And then the postgraduate institute is there where I am working. Oh, it is okay. one of the very well reputed uh, hospital I'm working. Mm -hmm. It's a medical education and research center mm -hmm. and uh, it is uh, quite world famous for that matter. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of research going on mm -hmm. in that and uh, I think I'm proud to be working there yeah. from the last that many years because mm -hmm. I graduated from that institute mm -hmm. and I did my post graduation from there mm -hmm. and now I'm doing my PhD over there. Mm -hmm. So I feel a lot more connected to that now place. Now how did you end up here in America right yeah. now? Tell us a little more about how you ended up here. Yeah, sure. I just came here to visit my sister. She's here mm -hmm. and I'm here for the third time. Oh. And I love this place. So uh -huh. this place brings me back. <laughs> okay. Here again and again, and I really like this place, and I love the scenic beauty around. Uh -huh. And that is how I'm here to visit my sister's family. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Now, what uh, subject um, is it that's particularly of interest to you at this point that you were wanting to focus mm -hmm. on? Yeah, um, in psychiatry, uh, you know, I always thought of working with patients who mm -hmm. cannot uh, kind of express, and their problem is something to do with the uh, kind of uh, making them feel happy mm -hmm. and uh, doing something different. It's like when we give pills and we talk about medicine, it is like uh, you see we try to treat them, but there are a lot of alternative therapies which ah, are coming so up these days. Uh, so I just thought of laughter therapy. Ah. But uh, I did my study on uh, BSc nursing students mm -hmm. and because I thought uh, Let's start like charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. So I thought, let me do something for my students. Uh -huh. And once they are happy, uh -huh. they're de-stressed. Uh -huh. So they would work better in the uh, hospital with mm -hmm. the patients. Mm -hmm. So I took almost 300 students uh -huh. and I gave them laughter therapy. I learned it myself. Ah. Uh, so I did that. And then I gave them uh, 30 sessions each. Uh, that's for uh, about 25 to 30 minutes uh -huh. every day. Oh, wow. Uh, so that is what I did. I made a group. This mm -hmm. is something which is done in a group. Mm -hmm. So they did the laughter therapy. That mm -hmm. was in 30 sessions, almost a month. Mm -hmm. And uh, I took them in a park mm -hmm. and they did it in the open. They did mm -hmm. it in a group. Mm -hmm. And there are like different types of laughter therapies which are uh. being done. Uh, it's not like just uh, kind of being amused or just giving a smile. Mm -hmm. uh, laughter is not just being happy about a particular thing. Mm -hmm. 
uh, there is a particular technique of uh, kind oh. of uh, going into laughter. Well, give me an example. Yes, yeah, like, sure. Give me an example. I'll give you an example. Like there is a greeting laughter. Mm -hmm. So it is like uh, you will do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, really? So it is wow. like it's not only being uh, smiling away, and then there is a kind of uh, a milkshake laughter. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you an example of that. Do yeah. you do this? Yay! And ye and ha 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 ha. It's like you're drinking the laughter. Uh, oh, so once you do it with your belly, it's mm -hmm. not only the facial expression. It is mm -hmm. not something to do with only your face. Mm -hmm. Kind of you just do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not like that. So it is something which uh, needs an exercise on your part. Uh -huh. And uh, you will see that laughter does not only make you happy. Uh -huh. It definitely de-stresses you. Oh, but okay. it also kinds of uh, gives you a slimming tonic, you know. Really? Because, yeah, yeah, I like that. Is. <laughs> it is uh, because uh, you so do that exercise. That's the benefit. <laughs> that's a benefit. Right. Get skinny. Laugh your way to skinniness. <laughs> yes. That is one of the important benefits which probably the teenagers pick up yeah. quickly. Yeah. And it's very good for the geriatric group too. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. You know, older people yes. who are, uh, they don't have too many people to talk to them. Uh -huh. So they can be a part of the group and mm -hmm. they can be smiling away and laughing mm -hmm. their way to glory. Yeah. And it's like, uh, you will see that it gives, it definitely relieves you from tension. Mm -hmm. So it, it acts as a de-stressor. Mm -hmm. And then you will see that it even reduces the hypertension. Mm -hmm. There was one of the studies which was done in uh, 2005 in the University of Maryland Medical Center mm -hmm. and uh, it was done on patients mm -hmm. and it has been documented really? after wow. that research that it dilates the blood vessels uh -huh. and it reduces your blood pressure oh, and wow. it increases the blood flow. So it's not only just being uh, laughing about the whole affair, it's about, mm -hmm. it's a serious matter. Yeah. You know, and uh, you will see that it de-stresses uh, you, plus it reduces your anxiety. Mm -hmm. Whenever you are anxious or you're angry, mm -hmm. if you get some time off it mm -hmm. and you just a uh, smile, mm -hmm. uh, as I told you, there are very different types of uh, laughter I can talk about. Mm -hmm. There is a loin laughter. Mm -hmm. You make your face and you take out your tongue like a loin and then mm -hmm. scratchy and pawing mm -hmm. about the whole affair. And then there is a milkshake laughter. There mm -hmm. is a one meter laugh. And then there is a uh, greeting laughter. Mm -hmm. There is a silent laughter. Mm -hmm. So there are different types of laughters which you do it in a particular mm -hmm. session. It is not that uh, one type of laughter you do mm -hmm. it uh, once for all. You do all these and then you kind of talk to yourself and you say that I am the happiest person on this earth. Mm -hmm. And you will see that it, uh, it acts as a comforter. Mm -hmm. uh, it really helps you mm -hmm. to kind of be relaxed. Mm -hmm. And then it has a physiological and it has a psychological aspect yes, too. Yes, and you also mentioned something about, uh, we were talking earlier, yeah. you said something about glory and you mentioned spiritual. Yeah. What is the spiritual component in terms of the yeah. laughter? Uh, the spiritual aspect is that once you're happy within your inner self, mm -hmm. so you get very well connected to God mm -hmm. because you have to be at peace when you're talking to uh, or when you are uh, like, when you feel connected to God, mm -hmm. you need to be relaxed, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. So once you are at peace with yourself, mm -hmm. your inner self, mm -hmm. you are more spiritual about the whole affair. Mm -hmm. You can be smiling away. You can be uh, singing some hymns. Mm -hmm. uh, joyful. Joyful. Yeah. You can be very joyful about the, the whole affair. Yeah. That's all about it. So yeah. you have to be very spiritual about the whole affair. Oh, you feel right. very happy and uh, mm -hmm. in fact I've tried this for myself too. That's what I was going <laughs> to ask you. Did you try some of these therapies I yourself? did so. Okay. I did so. In yeah. fact I started uh, doing it myself. Uh -huh. I started practicing myself uh -huh. and it was like uh, I was so much relieved with all the tensions mm -hmm. and worries I had on my mind and I feel very happy. I do conduct these sessions for my students pretty mm -hmm. often mm -hmm. and then I I do take the feedback from them. Mm -hmm. Like for my students, I assess their stress. Mm -hmm. I did a stress test on them. Mm -hmm. And then later on, I did this therapy on them. Mm -hmm. And then I found the results. And mm -hmm. you won't believe they were like 50 to 60 percent mm -hmm. uh, kind of the results were positive mm -hmm. after laughter therapy. Mm 
Ah, so there's which was uh, yeah, which wow. was considered, and I have documented that already. Awesome. Uh, so that was part of my PhD. That now, how did your did. students respond? What, uh, what have you found that they want to perpetuate that yeah. joy and that happiness that this particular type of therapy elicits? Yeah, they were very happy about the whole affair, and in fact, I just gave them thirty sessions, mm -hmm. but they wanted some more of it. Oh, okay. So, what we have planned with our university, because mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm member of the Senate of the committee member of the mm -hmm. university over there. So what we are trying to do is we are going to put it in the curriculum. Oh, and great. this is going to be part of their training that they go into these laughter therapy sessions regularly mm -hmm. so that they can de-stress themselves because mm -hmm. uh, we get students who are not exposed to nursing at all. Yes. Once they join nursing, they don't know how much of stressful mm -hmm. it is going to mm -hmm. be working in the hospital with the sick patients. Mm -hmm. So once they undergo this laughter therapy, mm -hmm. they're kind of prepared to work in the hospital as bedside nurses. Ah, so okay. that is one thing which has come up, you know. So it helps them to be better equipped emotionally yeah. and psychologically. They, they become uh, emotionally stable, uh -huh. very strong, mm -hmm. and uh, they feel very happy about it. And I'm also very happy and satisfied with the kind of job. As a teacher, you always mm -hmm. want to see your students happy, mm -hmm. and they're happy with me, and they're happy with the therapy too. So <laughs> you find this whole process as you were doing the research to be very rewarding. Yeah, very it rewarding, is. It really. is, and it gives you a lot of satisfaction for that mm -hmm. matter that you've done something for the community mm -hmm. uh, you're working in that community mm -hmm. and if you can do something different because mm -hmm. uh, this is one of the alternative therapies which is different it is coming up in a big way mm -hmm. there, are there are a lot of uh, you can say laughter yoga clubs which are running around really? all over the world wow. yeah and uh, the founder is Dr. Madan Kataria mm -hmm. and he started off these laughter clubs in uh, 1998 mm -hmm. and uh, they're coming up almost everywhere in the world. Great. So there are different groups, kind mm -hmm. of teenagers will have their own group and old age people will have their own group, mm -hmm. uh, say the working class will have their own group. Mm -hmm. So this is being practiced in different groups. So that kind of, uh, and the results are coming up, people are researching this aspect mm -hmm. and uh, so that it's a universal. It is a you know, universal. From what you're saying about the age group, we've, it, it's universal. It from is. From the young to the old. Yeah. We all love to yeah, laugh. Yeah, there is no age. Uh, age doesn't matter. You yeah. can laugh at any age, yes. right from your childhood exactly. till your death. You can yeah. be smiling. You can be laughing. And I think right. that is what is required in today's world because uh, we all are so stressed all the time, mm -hmm. maybe in our personal life or maybe mm -hmm. in our professional life. And we really need to be happy about, we mm -hmm. should thank God for every day, every mm -hmm. single day he's given to us. And I think uh, this therapy is one of the ways to thank God for what we are today. Amen. All right. Well, I'd like to uh, close this session with uh, something that Ashley prepared um, unfortunately, she was not able to be here today. Um, she wrote this, so I'm just going to go ahead and read it, if you'll excuse me. No matter who you are, stress is a part of everyday life. As humans, it is easy to turn to unhealthy behaviors to cope with everyday stress. As Christians, we should turn to the Lord for insight on stress management. In Matthew 11:28 through 30 Jesus spoke to his fellows and said, Come all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle. You will find much rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. As followers of Christ, we should not feel burden. We can easily relieve our stress by rushing into the arms of God and leaving all of our stresses in His hands. Lord, we pray that you stand by our sides and walk us through difficult times. We ask that you reduce our burdens in our lives and show us the path to eliminate our worries. Thank you, Lord, for providing us rest, even through stressful moments. Amen.